Hi everyone and welcome to this full tutorial in Vectory. We will work on a wine bottle product presentation and show you how to create 3D objects from 2D images. Add stickers and customize them using imported graphics. We will also go through the effect that can be achieved using advanced materials and textures. To start, choose a blank project on the splash screen and rename it. Let's import an image that we will use as a reference while modeling in order to keep the right proportions. Use the gizmo and adjust the scale and rotation. Add a cylinder to the scene. Adjust its scale and position. With the blue dot, remove the roundness. Double click on the cylinder to bake it. In edit mode select all of the top faces and extrude them. By extruding and scaling we will get the shape of the bottle. Add another cylinder for creating the cork top. Scale it down, remove the roundness and bake it. By extruding and scaling, shape the cork. Add a subdivision modifier on both objects to make them smoother. Rename the object by double-clicking on them in the left side menu. Then group them by selecting group from a right-click menu. Select the bottle and position it with the gizmo. Next, add the camera from the top menu. The camera will be positioned from your current view. Exit the camera and adjust its pivot to the center of the bottle. This way the bottle will always be in the center when the camera is rotating. When it's done, lock the camera. Next step is to add materials to the cork into the bottle. There are many preset glass options in the materials library to choose from. Now, for the background setup, open the background options from the menu and choose the linear background that is needed to create a gradient. Adjust the colors and brightness for both sides. Then, we want to add a specific atmosphere. This is achieved via the settings in the environment library. Feel free to play around with the environment settings until you get the result you are looking for, to really get a realistic effect. We will add the right lighting. The first one will be the rectangle light coming from the top left. With the gizmo, adjust the position and rotation. With the blue dots you can also scale it. On the left side menu, adjust the intensity. Add a 
add another light from the bottom right side and adjust it. Remember, you can always revise the environment and the lighting later if needed. Let's keep going by creating labels for the bottle. The main label consists of four different texture maps, color map, roughness map, metallic map and normal map. Color map is used to define the colors of the texture. Maps for roughness and metalness are gray scaled maps. In the roughness map, black represents a smooth surface and white represents a rough surface. In the metallic map, black represents a non-metallic surface and white represents a metallic one. A normal map consists of red, green, and blue. These RGB values translate to X, Y, and Z coordinates, allowing a 2D image to create a sense of depth. Import the label by dragging and dropping it onto the canvas. Move it with the gizmo, pivot on the object, and it will automatically adjust to its shape. Scale it and rotate it until it is in a perfect position. At this point, you can also adjust the lights to make the label even more visible. Color and emission maps are automatically applied when you import the label. Just add roughness, metallic and normal maps. Play with their settings to get the desired result. To make the metallic parts of the label glow, add and adjust the bloom effect from the right side menu. Moving on to the bottleneck label, with the gizmo, again adjust scale, rotation and position. Add remaining texture maps. The last one is the label for the cork. Import the image and add the texture maps. Adjust the light and add additional ones if needed to enhance the overall composition. We will create the glowing flakes in the background by adding a plane and by adding emission to make it glow. Scale it down and add an array modifier. Adjust the setting of the array modifier.
Add randomize modifier. Play with the settings and move them around to really get that 3D look and feel. Making the leaves is actually fun and easy, and vectory. It is possible to import 2D images and make them into 3D objects. Just import or drag and drop a PNG of a leaf onto the canvas. It should have a transparent background. Turn on the double-sided texture in advanced material settings to make both sides of the plane visible. Modify the image plane by adding the subdivision modifier. Add noise modifier for displacement. Change the intensity and scale for each axis. Multiply objects by adding the array grid modifier. With a randomize modifier, randomize their position, scale and rotation. Play around with the position until you are satisfied with the overall composition. Now is a good time to go to the camera settings and add the depth of field. It will blur out the leaves and flakes behind the bottle, creating a sense of distance and a more realistic perspective. Time to have fun with creating the grapes. Start by adding a sphere to the scene. Add a noise modifier and adjust its settings. Duplicate spheres and adjust their position and scale until you are happy with the overall shape. Next, let's create a realistic grape material from a galvanized metal material. Change its color to green and metalness to zero. Add subsurface scattering and adjust the colors to allow some light to penetrate the surface. Change the radius to 30. Continue to adjust the color settings and sphere positions until you are happy with the scene.
add additional leaves to the grapes in the bottle. Duplicate a leaf and add a few single ones around the other objects. The final touch is to add some effects such as soft shadows, reflection and a vignette to complete the scene. We would always recommend to play with lighting and environment settings for the best outcome. Done. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This scene is one of the free sample projects you can see when you open up Vectory Studio. Deconstruct it and use it as a sandbox to discover all of the possibilities.